Welcome to Offbeat Look with Camille Johnson on beauty, fashion, and hair. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to fade out semi-permanent hair dye, and I'm showing you how with blue, which is the number one hardest color to get rid of. I had teal to blue ombre hair, which I have a tutorial on how to do, link in the description, but after a while I wanted to get it out of my hair and get back to a blonde or nearly blonde base for my next color, so this is how I did it. That's my old hair, and these are tapes on my hands that were supposed to help me since I have carpal tunnel syndrome, so just ignore those. They match the nails, though. Okay, so let's get started on fading out the stubborn blue. First change into crappy clothes that you can ruin. There we go. This is the same shirt I wear every time I dye my hair, so get used to seeing it all the time. This is our secret ingredient, vitamin C. They're good for your body, but I just buy it for my hair. I get the pills that look like this, and then crush them up. Vitamin C opens the hair cuticle by making it swell, so that's why it's helpful in removing semi-permanent hair dye. This is the best method you can use without damaging your hair. If you want to avoid bleaching or using harsh color strippers, try this method. Sometimes it'll work perfectly on its own with other colors, but for blue, it's kind of a tough process, so I'm just using it to start fading out the blue. I started with six pills, each a thousand milligrams, then I whipped out my handy dandy sledgehammer that I keep in my bathroom just in case I need to crush some vitamin C tablets or I need to crush someone's face who's trying to break in but thankfully no one has ever broken into my house so I've only needed to use it on vitamin C tablets so far. I use this to crush the tablets so they turn into a fine powder. You can also buy vitamin C in powdered form if you can find it. You don't need to hit too hard on the pills to break them so be gentle with your hammer or you might break the sink and if your parents are like mine you'll probably get kicked out if you break the sink. Every time after this time I faded my hair, I've put the pills in plastic Ziploc bags and then crushed them so it's easier to contain the powder, so I recommend that. Crush the pills into the finest powder that you can so there won't be any lumps in the next step. Now sweep the powder into your mixing bowl. You can see that some isn't as crushed up as the rest, and ever since this I've been making sure to get it more crushed, but it's not too big of a deal. Now add shampoo to the mix. Use the cheapest shampoo you can get. I use a huge tub of white rain shampoo, but the best shampoo to use is the Head & Shoulders Anti-Dandruff Shampoo, according to a lot of people. I bought the generic version at Walmart, and now it's my favorite to mix with vitamin C powder. It strips really well. You can also use dish soap, preferably lemon. Use your hair mixing brush to mix it all together into a thick paste. You might need to add more shampoo, so go ahead and do that if needed. Keep adding shampoo and mixing until it's pretty blended, but still pretty thick. There's not an exact ratio, but I made enough to thoroughly coat my hair two times. It's easier to mix one double batch than one and then make another one after. Now you want to take your hair out and put that goo in. It's so slimy and gross looking, but it's fun to play with. So now I'm putting it all over my hair. I'm just using my hands and spreading it out all around the hair. It's very viscous and thick and still concentrated, so it's not going to soak your hair or lather until you add water, but right now I'm just putting it all over the different areas. If you use Head & Shoulders Anti-Dandruff Shampoo, or the Walmart version of it, which I prefer since it's cheaper and smells really good and works about the same, then it'll probably strip out a significantly more amount of color than you see done here. The Anti-Dandruff Shampoo is already harsh on dyed hair, and something that you shouldn't use if you have semi-permanent hair dye that you want to keep so it's great to use to fade dye. After you spread out the mixture, add water to your hair so you can effectively lather and rub it all in. Don't add too much so it won't drip down your face though. Once you can lather it, you want to take your time and scrub your hair. Don't just shampoo it like you usually do. Treat it like you would if you're washing laundry by hand and you want to get the dirt out, except in this case you want to get the dye out. I take every section and rub it between my hands using pressure and a scrubbing motion to loosen the dye from the hair. Do that for a while, and once you've gotten all the parts of your hair, then put it up in a bun. I put the rest of the mixture on my hair, and this is what it looks like after I scrubbed it for a while. You can already see the color is fading, and looks more green, and in some parts yellow, which is good. I timed it and left it on for a bit over half an hour. I rinsed it out, and this is what it looks like after the first treatment. Now it's time for round two. Make sure you scrub your hair and rub it between your hands because that's how I found makes this treatment much more effective. Don't forget to rub the hair on your scalp too. Basically just rub until your hands fall off and you should be good. 
Now put your flow up in a bun and leave it in for a while. This time I did about 49 minutes, but you can leave it in however long you want. I've slept with it in and find that it works really well to leave it in overnight, but just don't forget to cover your hair when you're sleeping with it in. I dried off my hair and you can see that it has faded a considerable amount from the two treatments and this is pretty good for blue dyes since they're so stubborn. Next I mixed a batch of bleach to bleach my roots. I did a second round of bleach on my roots like I normally do in order to get them light enough. Because the blue is so stubborn, I decided to give my hair a bleach bath, which is where you mix shampoo with a batch of hair bleach with the bleach powder and developer like usual. You do one part of bleach mixture and at least one part of shampoo to dilute it and make it less intense and less damaging. I would recommend doing as many vitamin C treatments as you can before resorting to this, but with blue dyes you just might have to. So you want to put this all up in your hair and rub it around a bit and lather it and get it all over the colored area. This is what it looks like after it's been sitting in my hair for about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to wash it out. So I washed and conditioned my hair and I'm combing it out and this is what the color looks like now. A lot better than before. After this, I did rainbow hair on top of this base and had no problem since the colors were dark enough. But after I got rid of the rainbow hair, I got back to this blonde base. These are techniques I would recommend for getting horrible blues out of hair, but I'll also be posting a video on how I got my hair this blonde and removed so many colors from it. If you have any tips on how to remove your hair color, please post them in the comments below, along with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Kisses!